And yes, they're pointing at the headphones. I have my real headphones on today because I left my iPod at work like a moron. And it has my nice stealthy ear earbuds on on it. So I have like the big Horkin headphone headphones. Well, you, you got the nerd cred rocking with the big Horkin headphones. So Well, there's Skull Candy, which I'm told is good. Although I got them for free off a friend of mine from my old job. He used to work the X Games, and he got a bunch of free swag, so I mentioned I needed headphones, and he was like, hey, I have these, and then I looked them up online, and they're like $60 headphones, and I'm like, oh. Score. Okay, I, I, I don't want to ask if you're ready, because th there is no ready for... for uh, you'll see. You'll, you'll, you'll see. Is it Penis Week again? I don't like your lack of answer. That disturbs me. Uh -huh. Um, let's get the intro going, shall we? Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here in a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And... You know what's interesting is when I have my headphones on, I can't hear the theme music, but when I don't, I can. That is weird. Okay, this I it. Uh, we we we're. I think we're done. I think we're. All that's noted is the headline. Giant but. penis is blown up. We're done. We're that's it. That's and do you know there is no more show. We're done forever. That's it. That we're done. Was Rick Moranis there? <laughs> Half of the audience is too young to know what that means. Yeah. Honey, I blew up the penis. <laughs> a three and a half model penis work of art was exploded into the air in Bad Blamu, Austria. Blamau? Blamu? Blamau? In... Bad Blumau. That's that's the name of a place. Uh, the giant... Bada Boom, Austria. <laughs> the giant penis artwork Gaia... What? Measuring over four meters was designed by Emmerich Weissenberg... Uh, but is now Gaia female? Has got yeah. yeah, yeah. But has now been blown up during a controlled explosion. In the name of art, the organic remains of the exploded penis will now be buried in the gardens. Uh, the sculptor decided on this stunt and claimed, "I wanted to express the message that you should not destroy art if you do not understand it, and there should be an active dialogue about it." You under if you should not destroy art if you don't understand it. It's a giant penis. Well, I don't understand it because why is the giant penis called Gaia? Gaia is a goddess, which means by, it should have been a three-ton vagina. By lot by that logic, this thing should never be destroyed because no one would ever fucking understand this. Did you hear about there is a guy in New York? Not to go off on a tangent, but it is kind of related. There was an artist in New York who got... Have you ever gotten one? Well, you, you've only been to New York once, and you were a grumpy puss about it. But in New York, like, the generic gift shops give you a, shop, a plastic shopping bag with the I Love New York thing on it. And I guess he gathered up a bunch of those and turned them into, like, paper lanterns. And was hanging them on lampposts and trees and stuff mm. as, like, a little amateur art installation, and they actually lit up. And some crazy-ass bitch called the police because she thought it might be a bomb. The guy got put in jail. The judge refused him bail until such time as they can perform a psychological evaluation. Because he hung lit-up plastic bags from trees. And that's still more sane than... Blowing up a giant cock! This guy didn't did go they, to jail. Why did they blow it up? That was part of the 
You should not destroy art if you do not understand it. So he blew it up himself. Yeah. The artist he built a giant a penis. A three and a half ton penis. That's and blew it up. Maybe you shouldn't. Maybe the real message was you shouldn't blow up your penis if you don't understand it. Don't laugh, because look at the stories we've done. Yeah, yes. Yeah, we've had guys blow up their penis because they clearly didn't understand it and thought that was where you keep your meth lab. I, I just, it. Of all the. Oh, Tolly, really? What a blowjob. Oh, oh. Shave and haircut, two bits. Yeah, that was right there. I am the, was... I am the queen of low-hanging fruit, no pun intended, and even I didn't go there. Three... That fruit had already fallen from the tree and begun to rot. Three and a half tons and four meters. That's a big cock. Maybe it was just, maybe he had trouble walking, and so he had to blow it up. Did you watch SNL this week? They had Stefan and they were talking about draggers and they're like, what's a dragger? And he's like, it's when you have like one of those dogs with really short legs, but a really big penis. <laughs> Maybe this guy was a dragger and wanted the world to understand his pain. Okay, moving on. Um, do you remember your prom? Yes, I, I wore plaid. Where did, where did they hold your prom? Um, our senior prom, they always had at the same place. Every year, senior prom had at the same place. It was like a reception hall where they do weddings and stuff like that. We, I, I, we had ours in a Shriners Hall we rented out. Mm. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's, it's normally a place, an establishment you rent it out. It's, it's, um, well, Miami uh, did something a little different. Um, they went to the Miami Beach Convention Center for uh, for prom for uh, the uh, Miami Beach Senior High School. They just uh, th they didn't check to see who else was booked at the same time. Um, uh -oh. Miami Beach Senior Prom held in the same place as Exotica. School officials are making sure a high school prom runs smoothly while it sh shares the same venue as a porn convention. Students, awesome. students from Miami Beach Senior High School are set to have their senior prom Saturday night at the Miami Beach Convention Center. Also at the center is Exotica. Exotica founder John Handy. Really? Oh, really? Really. Mm. Said the event is a celebration of love and sex. And jerking off um you didn't check nobody checked did you see the movie the girl next door i did not where there's this kid in high school and a porn star moves in next door to him and naturally she falls in love with him because he's emile hirsch and why not that's crazy. and uh yeah and they wind up dating and she goes to the prom with them, and it's a big thing. She's a porn star. Oh, my God. And they do, they wind up filming. They get all her porn star friends together and all his nerd friends together from the AV club. No lie. And they wind up filming, like, a brand new sex education video to be used in schools with porn stars at their prom. That's Why like are you watching this? Movie. It sounds awful. It is awful. That's why I was watching it. But it kind of sounds like this prom, except they didn't have to bring the porn stars in. They were already there. This is... This is... This is going to cause... I, I foresee problems at this prom. It's kind of like when we had that con at the same hotel as the Crown yeah. Prince of Saudi Arabia and the 50th Catholic High School reunion... Yeah, this, this is, this is, this is not a, you got chocolate in my peanut butter situation. This is a, you, you got, got a penis in my peanut butter. You got situation. a lot of 
well-trained semen in my peanut butter situation. Because <laughs> these kids, when you go to your prom... Let's be honest, every single human being on this planet in the United States of America, when you go to your prom, your end goal, if you were male, is getting laid. Sometimes female, definitely male. Really? Your, your end goal of the prom, you wish to get laid. Every single fucking guy in America. That is, if it has a penis, it wants to get laid at prom. Well, let's be fair, if it has a penis, chances are it wants to get laid Always. True, true. But like, this, forget prom. This here is not helping the situation. At all. It might be, actually. Some kid might get discovered there. <laughs> My thinking is that every single fucking girlfriend who has to go along, every date who has to go along to this, to this prom, one of them's Yeah, gonna they're gonna be really insecure. Not so much insecure, they're just going to be like, would you shut up for five fucking minutes? Because they're, they're, the guy's going to be overhyped, because there's porn everywhere, and his penis is just porn! Porn, porn, that's, that's all that's happening. And the girl is going to have to deal with this ball of... of Balls. Or, yes. It's ball of... Balls. This is, you know what, girls. If if you were, if any of you happen to be watching right now and and you're dating someone and you have been asked to go to this prom, I really feel like all the girls should just go stag. Yeah, hell. Of course, if, then the guys are all porn convention. All the girls are dating girls. Holy crap! And it's a whole other can of worms. No pun intended. Pepper spray, girls. Pepper spray. Inexpensive. No. Why? That was a whole other thing at a different prom. I told you about that. Oh, Those right. bitches who were spraying the kids down with Lysol. Yeah. Those psycho moms. No, don't spray things at people at their prom. They paid a lot for that clothing, and they don't want to go blind. Unless it's from masturbating to the porn convention next door. So while we're on the topic of girlfriends, um... <laughs> while we were on the topic of porn... And prom. Well, I'm I'm transitioning. I'm which have three letters in common. They do. I don't know what that means, but you know they do. The internet has made relationships weird, and also virtual. Um, this is apparently a service that you can get. Um, get a fake girlfriend to raise your Facebook profile. For five dollars. Really? Guys, are you in need of a girlfriend who will help you with your homework or give you advice? Or maybe just already have a girlfriend and want to make her a little jealous by getting flirty texts from another woman? Well, now there's help for you. A new site called Girlfriend Hire. Connect with Marmalade Offers and she'll give you the harsh truth about your pickup lines, wardrobe, or even your looks for only five dollars. Or sweetly vague... We'll text, email, voicemail you about what a great time I had for five bucks. Show all your buddies. This That's is pathetic. Is this the evolution of my girlfriend who lives in Canada? Yes. And it's sad. This. First of all, guys need to stop with the fucking make your girlfriend jealous bullshit. Because you know what that does? That doesn't Everybody make like needs to stop with that. Guy yes. or girl, stop Fair. that shit. Yes. Because that doesn't make your significant other be like, oh my god, they're so desirable, I have to work extra hard to keep them. That makes your significant other be like, wow, they're a fucking douchebag who's cheating on me. I need to find somebody who's not a fucking douchebag who's cheating on me. And if they don't do that, then you're dating someone really, really, really motherfucking insecure, and you should run. Or insecure or psychotic. And you should run as fast and as far as you can and possibly change your name because they are not well. Because I'm really fucking insecure, but I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't put up with that what shit. I, what, I, what, I, what I love here is the idea of that you'll get a fake girlfriend to text you and then just show it to all your, all your guy friends. Yeah, I don't. Really? That's, that's. Or like someone to like say they're your girlfriend on Facebook. 
what the fuck does that get you? Because then your friends are like, oh, hey, we're all getting together. Bring that girlfriend of yours. Uh-oh. And then we're right back to, um, I can't. She lives in Canada. Exactly. What's her name? Georgina Glass. Like, <laughs> that, 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 no. It's pathetic and sad. And you will get caught. And it will be even more pathetic and sad when you get caught with then, your fake internet girlfriend. Although the, 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 the technology today has, has kind of evolved a bit. Now instead of sending yourself postcards from a remailer in Canada, this has happened. Now yeah. what you'll do is, now you have Photoshop. So you can just pick a girl on the internet and Photoshop. See, I'm totally with my girlfriend. Yeah. Just buy a real doll. Yeah. And, and I mean Brian Gosling made that acceptable with that movie. It's or, fine. Or how about instead of taking all this time and effort and planning into faking a girlfriend, why don't you invest all that into actually getting a girlfriend? Because the kind of person that would pay $5, that would pay cash fucking money for a fake internet girlfriend is the kind of person that has no concept how, how women work. <laughs> like, there's, there's a reason this service exists and is, has patrons. It's funny and you say that. There's a reason Dr. Nerdlove exists and he is doing God's work. Be but... Our very next story is about someone who, uh, who, who can indeed show how women work. Um, and it's from the unfortunately named Ballston, New York. We're so like eight years old. We are. With people's names. Few words, lots of surprises, and no clues. Nude woman who visits two Ballston stores is later found clad and charged a woman who visits a Stewart shop and Curtis lumber within a few minutes of each other Tuesday with no clothes on have a good day the woman told one lumber yard employee as she traipsed out the, the, this is the, oh this this is the best part um the woman later identified as Saratoga County District Attorney uh, J uh, by the district attorney as Barbara. Oh, okay, La I was like, really? Yeah, yeah as Barbara Lafleur of Saratoga Springs, also went to the Stewart shop. Um, the manager said, "This is the best quote, ma'am. Are you aware you have no clothes on?" <gasps> Cause you. How did that happen? You gotta check. You gotta fucking check. Do you? Do you? I feel like you can pretty much assume she's aware she's got no clothes on. How long have you we've you been doing this? It gets drafty. <laughs> no lumber, pun intended. But, like... I, 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 I don't think you have to check. I think that you can pretty much assume she's probably aware that she's naked. The, the, they did it. She uh, passed a mental health evaluation. No psychiatric issues. She just apparently decided to go to the lumber yard naked, which that kind of makes me cringe right there. Which is kind of begging for splinters in places you do not yes. want splinters. Yes. Even just your feet. Even just your feet. But you could also brush up against something unpleasant and... A lumber yard, really? Mm. Of all the places to be nude. Look, Why? if you want to walk around nude, you're going to be surrounded by wood, whether you go to the lumber yard or oh, not. Oh, oh, oh. You know, you don't, you don't need to compound the issue. Fuckers, you're killing me tonight here. That's just what... We had to make the wood joke. We... We are, yeah. we are eight years old. We totally are eight years old. How, did, how does this happen? She just, this was a conscious decision. This was, you did know what? Ask her, like, I'm not wearing underwear today. That's, that, 
This was a conscious fucking decision. She was merely expressing her freedom to be fully liberated. Okay. Well. No, actually, that's kind of against the law. Rock on, sister, I guess. Uh, no, that's... Uh. I oh. mean... If I... Yeah, it's just that, no, no. I mean, you could be fully liberated in other places where you won't get arrested for it. Maybe that's a better idea. And you won't get splinters? Well, we we found this isn't we found another place to be naked, but it's not a good one. Um, it's in the middle of a car chase. Uh Macedonia police arrest nude Kent woman after car chase. Criminal charges are pending in Summit County against a Kent woman who allegedly led Stowe police on a chase and was found to be naked. She was finally arrested. Uh, Kent police wanted the woman, who is believed to have mental health issues, for allegedly threatening to harm her child and another relative at at her Silver Meadows Boulevard resident on May 10th. No one was harmed. The woman climbed into her car and fled into Stowe. Her officers took up the chase after they saw her speeding. The chase, which reached speeds up to 85 miles per hour, ended in Macedonia when the woman finally stopped and was found to be naked. She could be facing felony fleeing and eluding, among other charges. Everything in this story kind of makes sense, except when you add naked. You know? Well, she was... They were coming to arrest her for threatening to harm her child, right? Right, right. And... and She really just didn't have time to get dressed. I don't... Obviously. I don't... How did we make the leap from that to naked? Because obviously she was naked when she was threatening to hurt her child. There is a real missing from this film. And the cops were coming, and she didn't have time to put on pants. Sometimes you just don't have time to put on pants. And you have to run from the cops naked. She says as though she runs from the cops naked all the time. Which I don't. I don't run from the cops naked or clothed or in any other state of dress. Anymore. Um, no, I don't. I never really ran from them. I just paid them off. <laughs> This happens so often. This the naked car chase. Yes, I saunter naked. from the police. I don't. I don't run from the police. I saunter casually away from the police. If this show was a book, we could have an entire chapter just on naked people in car chases from the police. It would be the biggest chapter. One of... Okay, like 16 people have pointed out that my face looks red today. I'm sorry, I don't know why. It's kind of warm in my apartment. I don't know. All, of I'm all aware. the things... Okay, wait a minute. We're telling you people. I know, we're talking about naked people, and you're like, wow, Tara's cheeks are really red today. The shit you focus on, people. Good God. Sorry. The internet is... It, ADD My is, air conditioner is too loud to have on during the bit. The internet so, has now turned attention deficit disorder into a way of life. We're talking about naked people here. Naked women, even. These are not the cheeks you should be focused on. Well, we have one last naked tonight, and fellas, brace yourselves. Because... Owie. Um... Naked man falls through ceiling, breaks through glass door Ooh. to flee the cops. Police detectives and FBI agents arrested a man this morning after he fell through a ceiling, broke through a glass door, and ran naked from the home where police were trying to take him into custody on charges from last year. Detectives and FBI agents uh, raided a home in the, uh, where is it, Chicago. Hi, Doug! Um... Let's see, the man was wanted connection trying to run down officers and eluding police in South uh, Chicago last December. Are we sure this wasn't Doug? <laughs> was he in pursuit of a hot pocket? We are so fired. Um, I don't get paid for this. <laughs> when police and agents uh, went to the home this morning, they found the man was hiding in the attic. They ordered him out. He fell to the ceiling, fled the home, punching two FBI agents 
and a detective as he made it out the back door. The man broke through the back glass door of his home with his fists and ran naked from the home, at one point jumping over a chain link fence, then falling and injuring himself. After the rest of the man was treated, this is a guy that just really, off. really, really wanted to rip his dick off. Seriously, <laughs> like, it's almost like we came full circle from the guy blowing up a giant dick to the guy trying really hard to shred his own dick. Seriously, that because all right, it's like every single possible way. Yeah, he could try to take his dick off, falling through the ceiling. Punching through a plate glass door, leaping a chain link fence is like, damn it, is this thing never coming off? This is a man who really, really, really wanted a free vasectomy. My God, that that is this is some impressive crazy. You gotta say, I mean, because if you're naked punching the FBI and then go on to punch a plate glass door. You were I have kicked through plate glass. But uh, I have kicked through a plate glass window. I, I won't tell you why, but I've you... kicked through a plate glass window and I had a bruise literally this big, black, on the back of my calf for an entire summer. Like that that have you that shit is not through the easy. FBI? I'm not allowed to talk about that in public. Those records are sealed. But this this guy was like Okay, I know it's tempting, everyone, everyone, I know it's tempting sometimes, but you really cannot solve every problem with your fists. It's not, you cannot solve legal troubles and a door and a ceiling with your fists. I, I, I mean, technically, he did. <laughs> he didn't exactly solve them, now did he? He didn't solve the FBI. But he solved the fuck out of that plate glass door. <laughs> that plate glass door ain't never gonna fuck with him again. So. Oh, just saying. God. Oh, what did we learn this week? What did we learn? Put on some pants. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Pants are fundamental. Like, pants are your friend. They might be evil aliens who want to enslave you. We don't know. We don't know. But for now, we have to assume that they're our friends. They, they protect your important fun places from glass and chain yeah. fences. fences. Pants, pants are good for the nooks and crannies. I'm amazed he didn't try to fuck down the door, honestly, because he was just like, you know, just going, just, I mean, it, it, all right, you're already naked, you've crashed through the ceiling, you've punched the FBI, you smashed a plate glass door, you are some industrial strength crazy. Well, yeah, but I don't think you could fuck glass broken. Like, by yourself. Right? I think that would be... It would really take time he just didn't have. He was obviously on a timetable. Because he could have just opened the door. Got on the floor and walked the dinosaur. But he did not do that. No. He, he had to not. fucking Mike Tyson the shit out of that door. So clearly, he was in a little bit of a rush. Um, also, if you are going to a lumberyard, pants... Mm -hmm. If you're going to your prom, maybe really baggy pants if it's next to the porn convention. Yeah, that's that's going to be all kinds of embarrassing. Or reactions. really tight pants. I I don't really know which is better in that situation, not possessing that particular tackle. No, you, you but, want uh, some room down there. You want okay. some maneuverability. Just say. Okay. Because this, so, you know, this is going to, I, what's the theme? Night of the Awkward Erections? Is that is that what they're going for at that that prom? Just yeah. Next time you 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 book a prom, check and see who else might be there. I think that's genius, actually, because you know there's going to be access to condoms. 
and access for a reason to use condoms. Well, yeah, but how many kids are not getting knocked up at the prom this year? Because porn stars. Yeah, but you... you God Condoms help. are overrated. Out of my chat. God help the one guy who actually has sex with the porn star there. His dick is going to just I I explode. And speaking of it... Speaking of exploding dicks... I am we have I have a story. Giant penis is blown up. That is a headline. I want to frame that. You should. That is a thing of, of awful beauty. You should frame it and present it to Hope when she when she comes. Giant penis. No pun intended. Oh. Um, giant penis. How many times have I said that today? I know. Yeah, I guess if you're going to build a giant penis and explode it as art. At least let it be comprehensible. Because, Don't name it a girl goddess name. Because otherwise, you've just built a four-ton penis and exploded it. That's all anybody's going to remember. You've built a four-ton monument to your idiocy. Because you built a giant dick and you named it Gaia. <sighs> I love how you're more hung up on the fact of what he named it than the fact that he... I'm annoyed the... by that shit. Stupidity makes me angry. He went through the time and effort to construct like, a four meter, three and a half ton... Well, okay. You wang. Forget, I, I studied art in college. So, like, it takes a lot for me to discount art. Like, you gotta do some incredible... Because Dadaism was a legitimate movement. People just put a fucking shovel... On a pedestal and was like, that's art. I got it. Sears and Roebuck. Like, it takes a lot for something. If some crazy person says it's art, fine. You rock on with your bad self. It's art. But don't be a fucking moron about it. Like, that just makes me angry. And, and I guess finally what we learned is if you're spending all of this money and effort, and time on a service to fake a girlfriend. Why don't you just actually get a girlfriend? Because... I told you why! Because then Dr. Nerdlove would be out of a job. <laughs> but I do have a late-breaking eyewitness report from the porn prom. Oh, no. perfect segue you got to admit that was like a fucking masterpiece of segueism was a piece of something yes <laughs>